You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adebue, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 8th day of October 2023, and our topic for today is The Way Out. Let us pray. Our dear Father, we give you thanks, we worship you, we exalt your holy name. Thank you for being a good and a gracious Father. Thank you for your protection, your provision. Thank you for guidance. Thank you for all the battles you fight for us, both seen and unseen. We say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Today we come before you again, Lord, we ask that you speak to us your word again. Cause our hearts to be receptive and teachable. Help us, Lord, not to be only hearers of this word, but to be doers of the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Exodus chapter 6 verse 6. Exodus 6 verse 6 reads, Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. Exodus chapter 6 verse 6 Our text for today is from the book of Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 to 15. Luke chapter 7 verse 11 to 15 reads, And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and there that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 to 15. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Today we are still considering the topic, the way out. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says that Jesus being the way also implies that he is the way out of problems. There are problems in this world that you cannot solve no matter how intelligent you are, but there is no problem that Jesus cannot solve. Jesus Christ is the way out of sorrow. In our Bible text for today, we read of a widow whose only son died. Nobody needs to tell us that she was in sorrow. She had known days of joy. The day she gave birth to this boy, she must have had joy. But then, the devil came in and steadily began to change her joy to sorrow, first by killing her husband and then coming for her only son. I can assure you that as they were going towards the burial ground, she was getting deeper and deeper into sorrow because she knew that there were people amongst those following her pretending to be weeping with her and saying in their hearts, why is your case so bad? Are you the only one in town? There must be something you have done wrong that God is punishing you for. But then she met Jesus Christ and the tide turned. For the mere fact that you are reading this today, sorrow is banished from your life forever in Jesus' name. I was invited to preach at a private event in Ekoi some years ago. I was going to preach on the topic, you need a miracle. But as I waited in the hostess's living room before the event started and observed the splendor of the house, I thought to change my topic to, oh that man should praise the Lord. I felt the hostess and her guests appeared to have everything they needed already. But the Almighty God said, I should talk to them about, you need a miracle. I learned later on that the woman had only one son who had gone so deeply into drugs 
that when his mother refused to give him extra money to buy them, he planted some in her bag when she was traveling to London so that she could be arrested at the airport. Everything seemed nice and beautiful on the outside, but deep inside, there was sorrow. That day as I preached, the young man gave his life to Jesus and the mother from that day on knew joy. If you too want to have joy for the rest of your life, the only way is through Jesus Christ. Let him carry your burdens. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says the way out. And yesterday we saw a similar topic when we studied the way. And from that topic, we considered our Lord Jesus as the way to freedom. We learned from that study that in fact, so many people were not free even though they thought they were. We learned from our study yesterday that there are problems which are beyond the power of science. We learned that there are problems which money cannot solve. However, there is absolutely no problem that is beyond the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Today we are seeing the topic, The Way Out. And in today's study, our Father and the Lord makes us understand that there are problems you cannot solve no matter how intelligent and genius you are. There are certain problems that would not answer to the intelligence of your intellect. In fact, there are certain problems that would not mind the kind of trouble and sorrow you have been through before. And an example is that of the case of the widow we read about in our study today. She had lost her husband earlier. She must have been through so much pain. However, the enemy is not one who pities. He came with a second blow. And this time around, he made her sorrowful by the loss of her only son. She must have thought, is this how I would be lonely in this world? Is this how my own case would end? I can imagine that so many people must have even thought, probably she's a witch. Maybe she has a hand in the death of her husband and her son. Our Father in the Lord today says she may have been surrounded by unfriendly friends. Those who would be wondering, are you the only one in this world? Why are all of this evil happening to you? You probably have done something wrong to deserve this. I pray for us today in the name of Jesus that that situation that would add sorrow upon sorrow to our lives, let it be banished out right now in the name of Jesus. Our Father and the Lord tells us also of the story of a family who hosted him while he was waiting to give a message at a program. He said everything seemed okay and alright. However, they had so much pain on the inside. You would see such a family outside and you would never believe that they had any problem. You would not even want to think that they needed any miracle at all. Without a knowledge of what they are passing through, you are likely to even want to envy them. Their lives seemed perfect outside. However, there was a but. Their son was seriously into drugs. I don't know what it is that may have turned your joy into sorrow. That thing that makes you look good and okay outside. It makes you look shining and in perfect condition when you are examined from the outside. However, deep within, you are languishing in serious pain. Maybe it is even a situation you cannot tell someone else. It may be a sorrowful medical condition that the doctors themselves have given up on you. Such conditions that are too heavy in the mouth to even tell a neighbor. Today I pray in the name of Jesus that such situations come to an end. Our joy is perfected and our happiness renewed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, no more fake laughter, no more pretentious smiles, no more packaging on the outside in order to cover up the deep pain and decay on the inside, no more suffering and smiling in the name of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is the way out of sorrow. I'd like us at this point to just bow our heads and open our mouths and cry unto the Lord today. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever represents sorrow in my life, whatever it is. Lord, by your mercy today, let it be overturned and replaced with things of joy and rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that whatever problems may have defied intelligence, whatever problems that may have turned our joy into sorrow and pain, just like that of the widow who had lost her son, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, today we bring an end to them. The same way you brought to life the son of that widow, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would restore our joy. 
ask the Lord today in the name of Jesus that our sources of joy would never turn to sorrow. That thing that brings us happiness would never be manipulated by the enemy to become a source of pain in the name of Jesus. We also learned today of the possibility of she being surrounded by unfriendly friends. See, Father, in the name of Jesus, for as many who may be watching out, waiting to hear evil news so that they can laugh and mock at me. See, Father, in the name of Jesus, let them be disappointed. Let them bow their heads down and bow out in shame in the name of Jesus. Let the wishes of the wicked never see the light of the day in the name of Jesus. Also ask the Lord today, say, Father, whatever pain and sorrow that may be deeply rooted in our hearts, that the eyes cannot see, that keep us smiling, yet in deep pain and anguish, say, Lord, today marks its end in Jesus' name. Whatever makes us look nice on the outside, whatever makes us smile with everyone when we are outside our homes, yet get back to our closets and shed tears. Whatever sorrow the enemy has made to steal our joy in our closets. Say, Father, we bring an end to them today in the name of Jesus. We declare that your peace would reign. Let your joy reign. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. King of glory, we want to worship and adore your name. We thank you for your word that you have sent to us today. Thank you because you have made ways of escape out of sorrow for us. We say receive our thanks. We ask, O oh Lord, today that this way out you have made for us would be permanent in our lives. No more going back to any form of sorrow again. Our joy is renewed now and always. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us Jesus gives rest to the burdened heart but you would have to surrender to him first. We receive the grace today to submit totally to him and to lay all at his feet as we take hold of the joy and peace that he gives in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Matthew chapter 18 down to chapter 20. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, Please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is from our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing In Christ Alone. Have a beautiful and awesome time in God's presence today. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm to the fairest drought and storm. What height of love, what depth of Comforter, my only know, here is the love of Christ. I stand in Christ alone, who took our flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness. The ones he came to save till on the cross was Jesus died. The wrath of God was satisfied for every sin. On it was laid here in the death of Christ. I ground his body laid light of the world by darkness laid then bursting forth in glorious days of
up from the grave, he rose again. And as he stands in victory, since cause has lost his grip on me, for I am his, and he is mine, but with a precious blood of Christ, no guilt and life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me, from life first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny, no power of hell, no scheme of man, I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.